There he is. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. With his, with his usual lately, uh, Caduceus on his chest, wearing it proudly. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he's delightful too, I find. <laughs> he is. He is. Put your hands together with mm -hmm. us and uh, welcome back to Mike mm -hmm. Delaney. Thank you. Oh, my. Thanks. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. He, he's a legend in his own mind. Yeah. Um, so I have a poem and a song, and the poem, <clears throat> the poem is called Hunter Biden's Laptop. Here it goes. <clears throat> You've heard of Hunter Biden's laptop. It's been all over the news. But there's a much bigger story, and I'm going to tell it to you. Trump has a laptop, too. At least I think that's what it is. He was using it in court, maybe looking up important biz. He was taking it everywhere. He couldn't put it down. Tap, tap, tapping away at it, a constant annoying sound. It held him, held him transfixed, a constant source of glee. For hour after hour, what's he doing? We can't see. But when he returned to Mar-a-Lago, it was confiscated by the feds. They couldn't wait to get it. They take it alive or dead. It looked like a tablet or iPad, but bright red, that's no surprise. Holding all Trump secrets, all the payoffs, all the lies. They haul him before the judge. It took some coercive beckoning. The whole world is watching. His moment of truth, a reckoning. They demand that he unlock it so they can see what he's got. But he says he's going to erase it, and they ain't going to get squat. He quickly grabs the red tablet and holding over his head, gives it some brisk shakes till his face is turning red. So now you know the secret about that no good lying lech. The only thing they'd trust him with was a play toy etch a sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thanks.